students we are going to study unit of work in the last lecture we have seen the concept of work done when work is said to be done formula of work that is work is equal to force into displacement now let us write si unit and cgs unit of work si unit of force is newton denoted as capital m and si unit of displacement is meter denoted as small m so si unit of work is newton meter denoted by nm this is called as joule so we can write 1 joule is equal to 1 newton into 1 meter so how can we define 1 joule it's very simple if a force of 1 newton displaces an object through 1 meter in the direction of the force the amount of work done on the object is said to be 1 joule similarly we can write cgs unit of work use the same formula work is equal to force into displacement the cgs unit of force is dyne and cgs unit of displacement is centimeter so cgs unit of work is dyne centimeter this is called as an arc so we can write one arc is equal to one dyne into one centimeter then how can we define one arc just like one joule we can define one arc if one dyne of force displaces an object to 1 cm in the direction of the force the amount of work done on the object is said to be 1 arc so the si unit of work is joule and cgs unit is arc now let us see the relationship between joule and arc what is the relation between joule and arc according to the formula work is equal to force into displacement we can write 1 joule is equal to 1 newton into 1 meter as si unit of work is joule si unit of force is newton and si unit of displacement is meter but 1 newton is equal to 10 raised to 5 dyne and 1 meter is equal to 100 cm 100 cm can be written as 10 square cm 100 means 10 square so we have written 10 raised to 5 dyne into 10 square centimeter now here the bases of both the numbers are same so by using the law of indices we can add these two indices because there is a multiplication of two numbers so 5 plus 2 7 we get 10 raised to 7 arc so we have 1 joule is equal to 10 raised to 7 arc this is the relationship between joule and arc in the examination it is asked what is the relationship between joule and arc or state the relationship between joule and arc or in the fill in the blanks it may ask 1 joule is equal to dash dash arc so its answer is 1 joule is equal to 10 raised to 7 arc so in this way we have seen the unit of work and relationship between joule and arc